Some wealthy Russian leaders can say goodbye to their yachts, luxury apartments, and private jets. There's a new unit of the U.S. Department of Justice to help enforce sanctions against Russian government officials and oligarchs. It's called Kepto Clapsher, and the task force will include several industry experts, including prosecutors and federal agents, as well as experts in money laundering and tax enforcement. The U.S., European Union, and other allies are using export restrictions and other financial sanctions to punish Russia and Belarus for attacking Ukraine. There's no need for this. It shouldn't be war. And if we don't get smart, eventually we're going to kill each other. That is World War II veteran Murray Leibowitz speaking on the attacks overseas on his 100th birthday. The United Nations estimates more than 600,000 people have fled Ukraine in the past week since the invasion started. And some of the world's biggest companies are saying no now to Russia. Apple says it's stopping the sales of its products, including iPhones in Russia. Harley Davidson is suspending shipments of its bikes into the country and Ford is suspending operations there. Google also says it has dropped Russian state publishers from its newsfeed.